Welcome back to MCOC Al Bundy Rules. Got a nice crystal opening for you to include my 7.1.100% exploration. Before we get into that, going to add some other crystals in here as well, including a batch of these special romance side cavalier crystals, in which I have. So I'm going to open up a batch of them. I'm going to open up five stars six star and then my reward so starting off here a nice little start to these cavalier crystals for these romance side events got a five star anytime you get anything over a three star especially over a four star on these kind of crystals always a happy happy thing so if nothing else i get that batch of iso and these days let me tell you i need that i sort of like nothing and everything all at once because i never seem to have it but i always seem to need it and now we have coming up next on the second of these crystals teasing me with the six stars and it lands on a four star and again i'm happy with that as well because again that gives me that nice batch of those iso eight which i'm just so short on these six star rank cups r twos and r threes and even r five five stars take so much iso i'm always clean out never have enough so happy to get those because that means i got another batch for a little bit of rank ups I fight for every level up event to have enough just to hit the milestones on those ISO 8. And then we have a three star. Eh. But then again, that's what you got to expect when you do these crystals. Expect a three star. That way you're not disappointed. Anything higher than that and you get happy. So that's the way I'm looking at it. And now spin, spin, spin. Stop that spin and see where it lands. And it is another three star. Eh. Take it, take it, take it. Not like I can reject it. So may as well take it with a smile, I guess. No biggie, no biggie. And that's what we got to expect. Got some more of these cab crystals coming up before we get to the good stuff. Like to start us off, see if I got any decent luck on these cab crystals. And another three star. All right. To get the one five star, I started them off on these cab romance crystals. Hoping to get some more. And got that spin rolling along, rolling, 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 and it is another three star. Well, got a three star streak going on after starting off fairly nice, but hey, hey, hey. And I also got some good stuff coming up, including my 7.1 exploration, which has me now of exploring everything in the entire game as far as permanent content goes. Uh, got a six star abyss that's going to be in that. Got a 25% spin and a 25 percent selector for t5c and another three star well this is just like three stars after another after another resident so i got some good crystals coming on up start them off with the unpredictable cav romances and i got a, some decent in there nothing too awesome but i'll take it although one five star was nice and now we got a five star crystal going on here and honestly, these days, kind of even hard for me to get excited about five stars anymore. Honestly, I think I'm getting six star spoil now. And But I got a new five star, so that makes me happy. I already got Human Torch as an R2 six star, so that's not really anything I need. But it's a new champ. And I don't have a whole lot of room for getting new champs on my roster. So when I do get a new one, I'll happily take it. Got this other five star be spinning. And let's see if I will we get here. And ooh, it is a moon night. Yeah, on here. Well, I got some minus the weight coming from it. So let's go with that. And actually, let's consider this is an older champ is surprisingly just now awakening him. So I do like to awaken champs. The way I have to look at it is eventually he'll probably most likely get a buff at some point. So at least I got him and got him awoke. So he'll hang out in the meantime. I got enough other peeps I'm trying to rank up these days. And oh, look at that. A uh, Samiot Spider-Man. Another lackluster, not overly excited pull. But I got me more ISO weight. So... Unfortunately, that's my biggest takeaway in a couple of these five stars so far. But we got this other one coming. As it spins, where it lands, we will soon know. And 
Ooh, that is actually a really good pull. A Guillotine 99 is an outstanding pull, and this is a new champ for me as a 5-star. However, this is not going to do me any good because I already got, as many of you know, a 6-star R3 Guillotine 99. So I'm obviously not going to be playing my 5-star when I already got an R3 6-star, but it opens up a roster spot for me that clears it out anyways. As far as the new champ goes, here's a featured 5-star. Seeing where these featured 5-stars, I'll begin into the good good stuff pretty soon and it is a hell's kitchen daredevil i hope i already got him or we got him dupe brought him up to 80 signal i guess i got a few dupes i did a video on him after the buff underrated buff pretty good champ overall uh so i'm happy to have him got mine r4 might r5 him at some point I haven't fully decided he's a fairly fun champ but now we got a six star going on six stars are always exciting and it lands in a hawkeye as some of you may know hawkeye was my first r4 five star back when r4s were the highest you could get them and were rare i'm a big hawkeye fan honestly still so to get him as a six star and to get him as a dupe that does make me actually happy and that is someone who i will heavily consider Ranking to R2. Well, well, time will tell on my skill, but I try, I'm trying to focus on my 6-star rankings over my 5-stars these days. And I look at this one, another nice skill. Got an Elsa. Great champ. Got her as a 5-star, someone I've been enjoying. Um, I do still have a T5C for skill. I mean, I can take a skill 6-star to R3 still that I have available in my inventory. If I'm going to use it where at I still don't know and now here after completing my hundred percent act 7.1.1 this is a screen that came up once I finished that on my selector I was debating back and forth between science and mutant as for science I would do human torch but with mutant I have like five different mutants I'm looking at and I just that's going to get me closer I'm going to show you how far I am to a full T5C mutant at the end of this um, but I'm only like four or five thousand shards away but here's another class selector um, I'm best class selector already open but there is going to be another 25 percent crystal and here's some of the other crystals I will be opening for my 7.1.1 exploration 7.1 exploration awards and Let's see what I get here. But first, before I open up my six star Nexus, let's take a look at my 25%. So I just did a 25% mutant. And if I was to get this mutant again too, I would automatically let me be able to R3 one. I think nothing else will get me to an automatic R3. And I got a Mystic. So Mystic, I'm so so in about. I just did an R3 Sasquatch R. R3 six star not long ago. I also got Dragon Man there. Not sure if I would R3 him or not. So, but I will take that. So now I'm going to do the six star Nexus. After the six star Nexus, I'm going to show you my current T5C situation for Mutant as well as my Mutants. And here is Yellow Jacket. Now we're in Sentry. Sentry is crossed off the list. No questions asked. Yellow Jacket, he took some heat on his buff. I actually really like him, but I also already have a high SIG, like 180, 90 SIG Yellow Jacket R5 5 star. He kind of needs a SIG and dupe for his goodness. Namor does too, but I also got an R5 Namor Max SIG, so neither one are super calm, but both are good champs overall, but I'm going to give the edge to Namor overall, just because Namor has pretty dang awesome you'll see in some videos of mine um although you'll also see yellow jack in tutorial here is my tier 5 mutant you see i'm at 41,400 shards so i'm only 3,600 shards away and i absolutely will do a new r3 six star here are some of the ones i'm looking at. i actually have too many people i want are there several of these i want to r3 namor i just pulled is one i'm going to consider i can r2 then r3 him if that's who i choose however I'm going to see because I would want him awoke in high sig. Cable, I could R2 and R3 him as well, relatively easy. And most people know about the Apocalypse Synergy by now. Um, with Apocalypse Synergy, is absolutely amazing. Without it, eh. And then you got Emma. A lot of people know she's one of my favorite utility champs in the game. So someone I would heavily consider R3 in. Got Domino. 
who I've recently awoke. I already got an R5 five star domino. I passed her up before when I did my R3 Magneto. And yes, my Magneto is R3, even though he's lower than my R2s. Cyclock is also one of my favorite mutants as well, especially with Apocalypse Synergy. She's amazing. Check my video if you haven't. And let's see, I am going to do one of those as a r3 very very soon this needed less than 4,000 shards which one i do as most of you who watch my channel know is i don't do the i almost never do the obvious so let's see what i do and maybe i will maybe i won't don't forget to subscribe mcoc yeah bundy rolls